The Niners were riding high, and now their season is in the tanks. Will Levis comes off the bench and has himself a day. And we got to talk about it. The New York Giants, the worst passing game in NFL history. That and more on this episode of Box Score Breakdown. Do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and check out more of my videos on YouTube Shorts. What happened to the San Francisco 49ers? 5-0 to start the season, riding high, and now three consecutive losses. Brock Purdy, he's come back down to earth. But before we talk about him, gotta give love to Joe Burrow. Burrow shows up to the game like an alien, dressed in an orange jumper and just puts it on the 49ers. At one point, 19 consecutive completions. The Bengals have 20 first downs in the first half. They finish the game with 29 first downs and win easily 31 to 17. Burrow looks sharp and the Bengals who could have easily gotten to the Super Bowl are running once again. As for the Niners, Purdy is turning the ball over and it's concerning. Steve Wilkes and the defense has to get it figured out over the bye week because this defense is not getting the job done. Nick Bosa only has three sacks and you got to get more out of the highest paid defensive player in the league. Honorable mentions, Tyreek Hill is an automatic entry already at a thousand receiving yards for the season. And let's throw in A.J. Brown as well. Guaranteed 100 yards too and the Eagles looking like the class of the NFC. The New York Giants actually finished a football game with negative nine passing yards. The longest reception of the day was four yards. I don't know if it's a shout out to them for being so incompetent as an offense. Jameer Gibbs and the Lions get a nice victory on Monday Night Football. The rookie running back, 26 carries, 152 rushing yards, 5.8 yards per carry and a touchdown. Jimmy G can't hit the side of the barn and the Raiders. What a debut for rookie quarterback Will Levis and the Tennessee Titans, a.k.a. the Houston Oilers. Levis goes 19 of 29 for 238 yards and four touchdown passes. All of them, most of them, bombs to DeAndre Hopkins, who has three touchdown catches. And like Geno Smith, they wrote him off, but he didn't write back. Levis slides in the first round of the draft, goes early in the second, and has to wait his turn, but... Pretty promising debut from him. Excited to see what he does after the bye week and gets going on his rookie season. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more.